Hello everyone, my name is Joachim and welcome to uh, Some of the Games for a Little Time. And today we're going to take a look at Orchard uh, by Mark Tuck. It's a nine card solitaire game, age 14 plus, uh, 10 minutes. So let's take a look. Of course, there's not a lot of art going on. It makes sense, right? Because it's just a small box. Um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit because of the shade. So basically you've been growing your orchard and harvest as much fruit as you can by playing cards so that the fruit trees overlap other trees bearing the same fruit and so on. So let's just take a look what's inside. Up. So it's kind of cool. All right. And then up, 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 up. Nice. All right, so let's take a look at arguably the most interesting part which are the dice because these look really cool okay. so I'll put them here there we go and then we have these two there we go the uh, little worms apparently and then we have the actual cards and the manual. So it's basically just all trees and fruit. And yeah, the, the back side is just the regular card deck, okay? And then we have the uh, rule book that I'm going to take a look at now and then we'll play a game. Okay, all right, see you in a bit. Okay, so the game is fairly straight, straightforward. So in Orchard, you're gonna be drawing nine cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the remaining nine cards you put on the side because that will be for the next game if or when we play again. And we have all these dice here. You don't have to roll them. They are just used as representation of how much fruit you're growing. There's no rolling at all involved. So the dice tray was definitely not necessary. So you have this deck, you would just uh, show one card like this, and that will be your starting card. And then the deck will be on the side and you will draw two. So this is what I start with, and this is what is currently in my hand. So I can flip them over, one, two, okay. So one of these, I will use to cover this one. Now when I cover it, that means by covering it, I will put one of the dice on here. So when you do that the first time, it will have one fruit on it. If you then cover the same one again, it will level up to three. You do it again, it will level up to six, and the final highest value is 10, okay? Um, and that goes for apple trees, for plum trees, and for uh, pear trees. Now then you have these two. These are basically spoiled tokens. That is, if you cover a tree with a different tree, then it becomes spoiled, basically. But then if you do that, then you also will not be able to cover that up anymore. There's only nine cards. You just try to get as many points as you possibly can. So let's uh, quickly do this. Let me clear it a bit more. There we go. Out of sight, out of mind. All right. So this is my first card. These are my two options. I like the plum and the apple trees together there. Uh, definitely mm, has some uh, possibilities. So I'm actually gonna put it like this. So that means I will have a one and a one. Here we go, cool. So then I draw a new card which is this. Um, all right. So it's not as good as I hoped, but I could cover up these two to have two pairs going as well. Um, or do it like this. So then I could use this, like, like this maybe? No, no, not like that. Um, yeah, for now I'm just gonna do this. Like this is my first time ever playing this game, so from making stupid mistakes, bear with me. <laughs> I draw another card. Um, I like to have a pair 
apple plum. That would be great. But uh, I don't think that's in the books at the moment. Pear, apple, plum. Yes, it is. Oh, I just drew one. Cool. So basically, this one will become three. This one will become three. And I will have a one here. So. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. So one, three, three. Cool. That is nice. Exactly what I wanted. All right. So obviously we're trying to still get to that one, right? So in that case, I would need to have, well, I don't, I don't have that at the moment. I think there's no way for me to do that. Um, so what else can I do? Do <laughs> yeah, I don't really, really see any options. I could do something like this, but it might be a bit too easy. Something like this. Um, or something like this, but then I'm kind of blocking it off, I guess. Um, yeah. I think I'm gonna go with this. So it's, of course it's also one, one, but I guess I'm just hoping for some luck to come my way. <laughs> All right, this has come my way. Um, not exactly what I would call lucky. Because what I need is pear, apple, and then pear. No, plum, apple, and then plum, pear. And if I cover it up with one of these, it's going to be minus three. So that's uh, kind of a tough sell. Um, yeah. Ah, this I can do. I'll do this one. So this becomes a three and a one. Three and one. There we go. Uh, this. Um, boom, boom, boom. I really want to avoid the rotten fruit. Uh, I mean, the rotten fruit is okay if you manage to go from six to ten, but, 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 not something I have right now. And I'm running out of cards, so we should really try to somehow boost stuff. Now, if I do this, I would get three, five, six, seven, seven points, but I have two rotten fruit, so minus six. <laughs> Um, well, it's a net positive, but still not really what you want. Could do it like this. That just gives me two points. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. All right. And then this is the last one that I have. These two cards, so this is really nice. This one fits perfectly. So that would basically be a one, this would turn to a three, this would turn to a three, and this would turn to a one. Let's see like this. Like this, okay. Not too shabby, that one. So, uh, can I change any of the existing ones that I have? Um, any pear, plum, apple, those three there, yeah, but not in the way that I want them. Or maybe here, no, well, a little 
little bit, but not enough. Uh, we can only just do this to get two points, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna aim for higher, right? Just getting two points is easy, it's the other stuff that's more difficult. How about this? This is three points. Yeah, I'll just do this. But I ran out of dice. <laughs> what happens if you run out of dice? I guess it's just too bad. All right, in that case, uh, just one. And one. And then we add up the score and see how well I did at the back of the booklets. So, let's see, one, two, five, six, 9, 10, 11, 14, 15, 16, 19, 22, 23, 24. Poultry. So really bad. <laughs> Alright, 24. Um, Alright. Let's try again, shall we? So this set is gone, of cards. Let me try the next one. And then two cards. So, it seems like a horrible start. Um, it does seem like, okay, this is kind of doable. I'll do it like this. So that way one and one. So one and one. And then draw a card. This is a nice one. This is a nice one. Yeah. So, one, 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 and one. Um, this one works for a part of it, but not for most of it, so... Or at least not for all of it. I'm gonna do this. Two points. Okay, so that was a uh, slight interruption because my daughter woke up. So now let's take a look at what else I can do here. Alright, it's not gonna be easy, I think, to find something suitable. Uh, I think maybe I do have to start thinking about uh, covering up stuff that might cause rotten stuff. Because if it's worth it in the points, then maybe why not just go for it. For example, if I cover up this, it would give me 3, 4, 5, 6, and create one rot fruit. Two rot fruits, and it's not worth it. Hmm. It's a challenge. Um, bum bum bum. And this doesn't work either. This doesn't work either. This actually works. Okay, I'm gonna do this. So this will become three. This becomes three. This becomes three. This becomes three. This becomes rotten. That's it. But that's worth it, right? That gave me a bunch of points. And then I have this. So I'm still trying to get those red ones or, or any of those others actually going. So if I can get an apple and a plum together, that would be nice. But everything else has to kind of work out as well, which is quite difficult to do. Um, like here as well, it's, and especially now with this guy being uh, a pain in the butt. If it's a plum next to a pear and an apple. Ah, like this, yeah, this works perfectly fine. Okay, so this becomes a three. This becomes a six. 
My first six, people. My first six. You never forget your first. Okay, yep. Cool. So, basically, I want something similar now. <laughs> um, so, this almost completely matches, but then there's a problem again of the top two. Um, same here, right? Ah, I can do this, and I'll have another rotten, but then I think, I think I'm just going to go for it. Suddenly I don't care about the rotten things anymore. So we have one, uh, <clears throat> and then we also have one here. <clears throat> this one becomes six, this one becomes one, and this one becomes rotten. So, this one's rotten. So this goes on the top here. And then we draw a card. So I already have minus six points, but I don't think we also have a lot more points than I've ever had before, so. Oh, and this one fits perfectly. Okay, there's a certain element of luck of the draw for sure, because this six now becomes 10. This three now becomes six. This three becomes six. This three becomes six. <laughs> And then this one becomes one. And there's nothing underneath the apple tree. But would you look at that? Thing of beauty, that's what that is. Okay. So, of course, with the whole rotten thing, I'm uh, kind of in trouble now. Um. This would work just to get a three and a one. Um, because aside from that, this would work too. I have two yellow ones, but because of the rotten, I can't really use that. Um, there's no other two yellow ones that I can use. Um, same with the two red ones, right? Oh, no, it works like this, does it? But then if it's something is 10, can you still put something over it? Yeah, you still put something over So this is perfect. This matches again. So this is 10. This one becomes 10. This one becomes 3. This one becomes 3. And that goes over here. Up. There we go. Then I have one more card. Um, boom, 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 boom. It will work like this. I think we'll just do like this. Yeah, let's keep it easy. I don't think there's any other crazy possibilities there. All right, this should be a lot better, people. It should be a lot better. This has to be more than 24. So, 1, 2, 8, 14, 15. 21, 31, 41, 42, 43, 46, 49, minus 6, 43. Tremendous. There you go. Tremendous. Yay. Makes me happy. Good enough. I'm going to stop there. Time for some other videos. But anyway, I like Orchard. Um, yeah. It reminds me of Sprolopolis, but it's even faster. Um, of course, you have to be lucky with the way how the cards come out. And uh, this, one, this especially now, was really lucky, I feel. But it's fun. It's uh, it's quick fun. It's a nice solo game. I enjoyed it a lot. It looks cool. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a keeper. Definitely a keeper. This is it. Orchard. Thank you very much for watching. My name was Joachim and always will be. This is uh, also some of the games all the time. See you next time. Bye-bye.